Hi guys, Chadster here, and welcome to my very first RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own animation. So without further ado, let's get started. First, open up your project, then select the database by pressing F9, click on this, then head to the animations tab. You can see a lot of pre-made animations here. You can view them if you want to get some ideas for your animation and how the graphic works so change the maximum you can put any numbers you like i'm going to put my little lemon and select the select that blank number put a name for your animation i will name my cross slash then select the graphic you want you want you can choose two graphics for your animation in this example, I will only use one. So I'm going to use this actual animation graphic. You can also change its color by sliding this bar down here. Okay. Now, position. There are four different positions. You can choose the head, center, feet, and screen. When you choose head, this, the, the animation will be displayed at the top edge of the image as a base. The center will be displayed using the center line of the image as a base. And the feet display the using bottom edge of the image as a base. And the screen display, displays the Im image or animation over the entire screen. So it's pre pretty self-explanatory and you can mess around with it. But I'm going to use center. For my, for my animation, I'll change the maximum number to whatever you wish, but usually I put 50 frames since you can change it anytime you want. Now we have 50 frames. Think of it as a page book, a, a flip book page. Think of it like that. Okay, now at the bottom here you can see the animation graphic image. So here, this means this pattern 1, pattern 2, pattern 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. So okay, if you press not right click and choose properties and then you sell property will appear. So the pattern, like I said before, the angle on which you can adjust the, anim the animation graphic, the x and y coordinates, the X will, be, will move the image from horizontally, the Y coordinates move it vertically. You can zoom the image. If you add number, the image will be zoomed. If you decrease its number, it will be less zoomed. Okay. Then it is default here. You can also flip it. So by that means, it means that if you're animation graphic will come from the right then if you flip it the, the animation graphic will now come from the left okay so okay. the opacity changes the opacity of the image the lesser the number the less visible the image will be the higher the number the much visible the image will be so the blending how your animation graphic will blend to the background you can normal add subtract but usually don't use the subtract because it doesn't look good see it turns black use normal or add but I prefer using the add blending okay so now I'm going to place our first pattern here on the first frame on the second frame I'm going to put the second pattern third so on and so forth, okay. There. I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. I'm not that fluent when I'm speaking in English, so please bear with me and I do hope that you can understand me. Okay, sorry. Now we have a animation graphic from frame 1 to frame 12 so let's test it 
That looks good. I'm going to add the second slash since it's a cross slash from where the first slash ends. Okay, 13. I'm going to start another slash. Now, since we want, if we put it here, it will do the same animation from the right. So we're going to flip it so that it will start from the left. See? You need to do this all the image for each and every frame. So it's a little tedious. Same goes if you want it to become bigger. You need to adjust the zoom ratio for every image. And then assign the number so that it became big when you preview it. Okay. I think there's no shortcut here. You need to do it manually. So let's try it. Okay. A little more. Last one. Okay, now let's let's test it. You see, now we have a cross slash animation. Now, since we have a cross slash, I'm pretty satisfied with this. We're going to put now the sound effect for it and the flash timing. Double click it. The frame here is where you want your sound effect to start. So it means that I'm oh, sorry. If you choose one frame one, the sound effect will start from frame one. So I'm going to choose a sound effect on my first frame, frame 1, I'm using the slash, this is, this is cross slash. Sorry if it's a bit too loud, I apologize for that. Okay, now the flash, you can choose none or the target will flash depending on the color you would choose. So we can adjust these bars here, the strength and how tinted the color will be or the opacity it's more it's much like opacity of the color and the duration and how long the flash will take effect so if i put 10 means that the flash will take 10 frames before it disappears okay so i will not use any or i will use red yes with a strength of 170 for three frames okay let's test it see the the anime the battle becomes red since I choose the target to become red. So okay now we have a sound effect for our first slash. We're going to frame 13 with another sound effect for it. I'm going to use the slash to again. Yes, this this slash. Now choose the screen the flash red. Okay with a 170 strength brightness so it will not so the reds will not be tinted so much okay four so i guess six frames okay now let's test it see looks good you can also add another graphic but since i only do a one graphic animation you can add another one if you like you can Add it to the frame that the maximum number of image for each frame is 10, I guess. So you can add at least 10 different images, but it will be a lot of work. So, I guess that's it. That's my tutorial for making a animation for your skill or for your item animation. So for an example here, I have already made a skill animation for my skill here. So see, that's my animation for my skill called Reality Reflection, okay? So that's it guys, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this video. And sorry about my, sorry for some of my mispronounced words, <laughs> sorry about that. And thank you for watching, bye bye.